Good morning and welcome to the Mance Garden. A welcome from me and a welcome from Soldier. Last Sunday, we were all encouraged to light candles at 7 p.m. as a sign or symbol of the light that Jesus Christ offers to the world. No, much more than offers, that Jesus pours into the world. A symbol of the love that Jesus pours into the world. And we've seen some love this week, not just for those in the NHS and the emergency services and the well-deserved clap for the carers on Thursday evening. We've also seen the love for those who have been working extremely hard under difficult and emotionally draining situations. We've seen the love in the more than the 500,000 people that responded to the call to volunteer in these times of difficulty. The coronavirus has prompted many people to respond with love and kindness, and we hope and pray that this continues. With the need to stay inside for much of the day, comes perhaps a disorientation of the time. Not just wondering what day it is, but wondering what we would have been doing had we not been staying inside, preventing the spread of the virus. And our travel through the church year is no different. It's two weeks away from Easter, which means that we are still travelling through the season of Lent. The passages that we would reflect upon during Lent point us towards the, the season and the events of Holy Week, including Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And today I would like us to look at one of the Psalms. As I said last week, the book of Psalms contains laments, words of lament of people crying out to God asking why, why is this happening? Psalm 130 says this, and I'm reading from the message translation of the Bible. Help God, the bottom has fallen out of my life. Master, hear my cry for help. Listen hard, open your ears. Listen to my cries for mercy. If you, God, kept records of wrongdoings, who would stand a chance? As it turns out, forgiveness is your habit, and that's why you are worshipped. I pray to God my life a prayer, and wait for what he'll say and do. My life's on the line before God, my Lord, waiting and watching till morning, waiting and watching till morning. O Israel, wait and watch for God, and with God's arrival comes love, and with God's arrival comes generous redemption. No doubt about it, he'll redeem Israel, buy back Israel from captivity to sin. There are loads of things that we could reflect upon uh, from that psalm. But I want to make just two brief comments. The first is that the psalm reminds us of God's openness to listening to us, whatever we are going through. The creator of the world listens to each one of us, particularly in times of struggle and difficulty, and wants to do something about it. And we are called to keep on praying. And this evening we are called again to pray at 7pm, to pray about the coronavirus pandemic, for everyone involved, for those who have lost loved ones, for those trying to take steps to eradicate it, for those helping to keep their loved ones safe. And there is a prayer on the Church of Scotland website that we can say together at that time. But secondly, the psalm points us towards the saving death and resurrection of Jesus. 
The Easter story is the culmination of the earthly ministry of Jesus. And in the season of Lent, we think back on his prayers, his healing, his miracles, all of these pointing us to seeing him as he really is, the Son of God. And in his death, he takes away the sin of the world, or all the things that get in the way between us and God. And his success over that is the thing that gives us hope in life, knowing that we can be close to God because God loves us. Don't forget that you can contact me with any requests for prayer or if you need any help at all. In the meantime, stay in, stay safe and stay well. Next Sunday is Palm Sunday, so join me next week as we count down to Easter. <laughs>